personal opinion, there are no Halls of Fame. The Halls of Fame died a long time ago. In other countries, maybe, but here, London, I, I'm not, I don't know about up north or whatever, but for mm. me, there are no Halls of Fame. None. It, it, you know, Halls of Fame basically turned into somewhere to paint. And that's as simple as that. You know, mm-hmm. you know, for me, rocking up to a Hall of Fame, you know, back then, you used to have to have something about you. You used to be able to go in there and drop a burner. Mm. Yeah. And that, that's all done. That's gone. The Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official com. <laughs> you need the Killervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Killer Killer Podcast live and direct. Central London. Or as central as you need to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Why would you? Don't put yourself through that kind of pain. Um, this is where all the action is. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. I do not do this thing so it doesn't blow up everywhere. Um, and anyone that's got a television app as well. Sharing is caring, man. Don't be sleeping on this. We don't do this for our health. We want to make sure that uh, everyone's getting a dose of the daily street culture. So, yeah, sharing is caring. Get on that television app as well. Free download. Um, well, we have a guest inside the place, man. Without question, one of the purveyors of uh, what has become the culture. Um, uh, an intricate part of the tapestry, shall we say. West London. We're talking TDS. We're talking... <laughs> we're talking hooch. We're talking ambush. We are talking to bats inside the place. What are you saying? bro? It's happening, mate. <laughs> you, see, you notice how I <laughs> casually kind of slip them things? As I know, we... <laughs> man. I know. But listen, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. It's there. So. It's there and it's in existence. Yeah. And uh, something to very much to be proud of. What a legacy. A legacy holder. A legacy holder, I think, is, is, is the right terminology because I know you're very, you feel very strong about the legends and the kings and, and the aforementioned. And, yeah. uh, quotables that people like to throw around. I, uh, to my admittance, throw around. Um, but I know you feel very strongly about that. You know what? It's I think, as you said, certain words get thrown around quite easily, and you know, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I graphs a game, mm-hmm. really. The real part of this, this uh, sort of jigsaw in it. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's how you look at it, really. They say you know everyone has their own opinion. I have mine. You know, I'm quite, I feel quite strong about it. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I do, I feel strong about it. But, you know, some people just don't want to really talk about it and just say, yeah, this person, that person, mm-hmm. you know, think about it, man. There's, if really, if mm-hmm. that's the case, then there's so many kings out there, man. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? So many is that. Mm-hmm. Boy, I... I'm a, you're a contender, man. And, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, it, it, do, you, it, do you mean it in the sense of like, well, times are different. To use those words the way that you would, times are different. And if you're if you're out there and doing it, that should be the most important thing. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think once you you're out there, you're doing it, you have you have a time scale. Mm. I feel, I believe you've got a time scale. There are certain people out there are still doing the same thing, still smashing it, you know what I mean? But we I say we, me, I feel that there are certain people that deserve certain labels. Mm. You hundred percent deserve certain labels, and you know it's a, a case of keeping that to a minimum. Mm. You know, what I mean, otherwise you know, say there's thousands of people graphic because you dilute the the, the the intention of the word. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, people call me a legend, and I'm like, yeah, listen, I've done my bit, mm. and that's how I look at. It. I've done my bit. You know, mm. I've, I've been around for. All, you know, 30 years now. He does so. his bit, by the way. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, you know, it's <laughs> it, it, it's doing that bit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've been around for a while, but some people call me a legend. Mm. Nah, I, I'm, I think I'm just someone who, who painted a few trains back in the day. And now, I, yeah, I paint walls. I, mm. I strictly paint walls now. Yeah, I'd love to do a train. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's, it's if everyone gets to that stage and, it, you know, they go through that and they say, nah, they're, they're lying to you, man. Right. It's inside them, okay. man. It's inside them. If they've done that, if they've been down that path, they've done it. Yeah. It's still going to be in here. The, me- the the mental attitude to it? The, the... Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 
hundred percent. That mental, it's it's in here. Like yeah, you you look at a train, like I said to you earlier, bro. You know, I come a certain way today to gear, yeah. and I thought, yeah, let me drop on the central line, and I see two whole cars roll past me and that, and it was like, what? That it was just like, Whoa. wow. Central line, yeah? Yeah. I mean, that was your stomping. Like, when I think of you, I do think central line. That mm. was your thing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That that was me, central line. I, I love the central line, man. Rustlip. Yeah. West Rustlip. West Rustlip. Uh, yeah. White Sea, yeah. the, the east side yards, yeah. which i never done too often, but... Rice dip, it was like, you know, like a second home. Must have blown your mind when you saw those trains rolling into. It, it did. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I could have been late coming up here today because I was thinking, <laughs> you know what? I went on the other platform. I was like, hey, I wonder where that train went. Is it Rice dip or Eden Broadway? Should I wait here? Should I travel down there? And I thought, nah, let me get, I'm on a journey, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, going, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's only one place you need to be on it. Eh? Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's where, that's where it's <laughs> on coming On a Thursday to. morning, there's only one place you need to be. Um, that's incredible, though. That's yeah. incredible. And how ironic. Exactly. Exactly. I made that choice. I could have gone another direction mm. and I, I made that choice and that's what I see and it was just like, yeah, wicked. Mm. Wicked. Good to see. Listen, we're going to get into some stuff. We, are, we, we have to. When we're, when we're talking of such uh, history and reference points and I think there's some DNA to be mm-hmm. discovered, you were orbiting in and around all of these it, 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 moments in, in Graph. That, you know what? I've, you know? I've been fortunate. Yeah. I don't know. I've been proper fortunate to like be around sort of even from toy status, yeah. From toy status. You're not afraid to say before we started, we, we had a little chat. You, you you're not afraid to admit to the fact that you you got to be a toy to begin with. There yeah. is no game. Every, everyone started as a toy. Everyone whoever said they started at this level, no, everyone started as a toy. Straight up simple as that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to start somewhere mm-hmm. and everyone started there. It's how you sort of transitioned from that into, you know, eventually finding yourself and getting yourself a status. Mm. That's that's the sort of the movement forward, you know what I mean? But we all started as a toy, you know, and I said I've been fortunate that sort of growing up, um, the areas I grew up in, I had certain names around me. Mm. And, you know, certain people and, and knowing about a certain scene without actually being in the graph scene. So I, I was lucky, mm. you know, and then... How'd you get yourself into that position? Just where I grew up. Really? Yeah, that's, that's all it was, where I grew up. So North Holt was the, was the place of growing up. That was, yeah, yeah. So what other writers were, were orbiting around at, at that point? The, the names that stuck out for me, 100%, was Set Free mm. and Huzz. They're the two names that were, like, out there. Proper out there. There were others, don't get me wrong. Yeah, check out rockinthecity.com as well. I've got a big them up, man. Some of the yeah. th- names that they just that I've mentioned are more, Roy. Like, you you wouldn't... It's just so... It's rare to find the, those names yeah. circulating. Yeah, people, people don't know. They've they done a lot. They've probably done a lot more than I actually know about. Yeah. But a lot at, of people know about neither. Yeah. How about out of the two, though, Set Free was the one, mm. man. And uh, as people know, you know, he was... Oh, I, I'm gonna say, yeah, he was a king. <laughs> if people deserve certain statuses, that man there was a king, and yeah, uh, just that set free throw, man. Mm. Even how that evolved, you know what I mean? Evolved as well. It did as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's that is massive. Just that set free, bosh, bam, there you go. Mm. It was there, man. And like, mm. yeah, I, I used to see that and just think, wicked, absolutely wicked. One thing, I, I mean, we're talking to someone for three decades here in writing. So when we let's, let's get into this. There was a period um, in Graph, and you can see it on certain websites, as mentioned, that the transformation of skill sets was almost like a huge jump. And when you say about Set Free and how he, that development, you really see it from 80, mid to late 80s, there was this kind of touchy-feely, Okay, getting a grips with this, and all of a sudden, late eighties into into the nineties was just it changed. The, the style changed. I think the whole sort of sort of foundations of graph changed in a way hmm. where you've you've had certain people like you know as I said to you earlier like the like the big met. I knew about the big met without actually being on it just hmm. through where I lived, hmm. and it was weird like that that transition of seeing certain things and people being hardcore to like. I don't know, I don't know. I think maybe for me, because I ended up branching out mm. and, and seeing lots of other stuff. And it, mm. it kind of just blew me away, like, you know. So I kind of see that transition. And, and again, for me, I was never really 
someone that just wanted to just have a name. Mm. You know, I think from early, you know, from the sort of mid eighties. Let's, let's let me just get this out of here. I was always into graph. Yeah, from the mid eighties, eighty seven. You know, I actually got arrested in eighty seven for doing one tag. But again, toy status. I was what, a toy then. One tag. What was one it like? Tag. The first time you had a can or something? Yeah, probably not the first time I had a can, but it was the <laughs> first time I probably done something a legal tag somewhere. Right, and right. Got, you know, got straight up bang, got bagged for that. Yeah, and it was just like, shit, you know, can of yellow. Never used yellow again for about four years. <laughs> you know what I mean? But again, it was weird. Like, so he, he embedded like in his psyche. Yeah, like nah, not touching that, man. Not color. touching that. Ghost colour for me, that was. Yeah, ghost colour. But, you know, it was like, yeah, I, I didn't have, I didn't know. I didn't, even I knew people and was around from a certain era, I wasn't in graph. I, I, was, I was into graph, but I wasn't in it. So it was kind of having a sort of being a, having a, getting that transition from being nobody into someone was a massive thing. But mm. it's, it's like, you don't just sort of say, right, today I'm going to be a graph writer and be yeah. out there. It just happened. That's mad. So you were just like, all of a sudden it, it grew into you. Yeah. Some, something, I know what it was that sort of meeting certain people and then all of a sudden you're like, wow. Just like bosh, and then before you know it, it's just a whoop. You know, you, you was here. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I mean. You know, like being on an ice rink and that, and the one minute you're standing still, someone pushes you in the back, and then you're over here. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it was yeah. like. Oh my god, that's so good. You know what I mean? And it was like, wow. Well, you know, I, I used to paint. I probably done my first piece in about '88. Again, toy status. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. done a couple of things. Then you know, met a couple of people who was all doing the same sort of thing, and mm. then all of a sudden. They met one guy, it was a northern guy. Remember the first time I met him? Didn't understand a word he said. He did a da 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 Next day. Big up my northern crew, by the way. That yeah, was... yeah, no, no disrespect, man. No, <laughs> well, no, yeah. Certainly not, yeah. it's done in any subtitles for that. That was just the his impression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect, man. But it was like, I met this guy the next day. And I remember I was at Norfolk Station and I was just jumped on the train and I was, looks like I see the same guy and I was like, bit of sign language kind of went on, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, 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 wait here, wait here. So I come back on the next train. And the rest is history, bro. The rest is history. And who was that right? Error. I'm an error, man. This, it was like, I don't know. He was like a mad influence, man. You like were like double-headed dragon yeah. business. Yeah, people can tell you, man. It was just, it, it, we, so I've been told, we went from nothing to being known, it was like double trouble. Mm. Bam, there we go. We I love those there. combos. I love them. Yeah, they work, man. They work. You know, and it was just like Aerobat, Aerobat, just like that boss straight out there. You know, and we, we yeah, we went from nothing to just being up and being recognised within a very short space of time. How many times were you going out painting? It was like every day, man. Really, every it day. It was like every day, every single day. We, we, God knows how we met up. There weren't no phones back then. It's just yeah. like probably the day before, yeah, we'll be here at this time. Yeah, and then we just yeah. meet up, we go, we travel around sort of northwest, you know, going out acquiring paint, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> and then, yeah, next thing you know, we were on it. We, you know, we was out there, track sides. You know, the trains really hadn't started just then. Mm. But we started doing track sides and then insides. And next thing I know, we're in a yacht. So it's a real su- succession of events, a chain of yeah. events. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Massively, massively, man. We we started, it, it happened so quick. I couldn't even tell you how quick it happened, but it happened quick. And it was like amazing, man. At Probably. this point, I must add, you know, do not try this at home. You know what I mean? We, 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 no, this no, is all no. in hindsight. It's not condoned. We were, we're merely uh, documenting because... You know, and we talk about this on the podcast a lot, how circumstances have changed and are different. But there's different things that come into play, different problems mm-hmm. to solve and crack. So where you could easily get over over a fence, mm-hmm. that, that too means <laughs> that the safety on overall <laughs> is yeah, really yeah, considered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it was easy. It was easy. You know, you, fences, well, they were fences back then, but, you know, again... We'll, we'll probably crack on with this a bit mm. later, but you know what I was saying earlier about like the grass mm. and then treading down grass. Fences are already broken down. Mm. Holes are already in fences. Mm. So it was like the the guys that had travelled the path before us had already set the way. The tone. 
you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the level. Yeah. Yeah. So this, you know, the gates and things were already open for us. So yeah, when we first went, it was like, yeah, splash down here, through that, up that bit there, through that little hole in the fence, which probably by about a couple of months later was a lot bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you're there. You know what I mean? It was already there. And I remember the first time, what, what was it? West Rice Slip. Mm-hmm. All nighter again. Do you imagine? I've gone from toy status mm. into the next thing. We're standing there looking at trains, and it was like, "Shit, this is going down, man. This is happening." Tell me about that feeling when you when you're seeing the train and it's in its full kind of in its environment. In it, its... It, you know, I think people, unless you've been there, people don't understand. Right. Yeah, it, there's a certain. There's an atmosphere. There's a proper atmosphere. There's a smell in the air. What's the smell? <laughs> I don't. I can't even describe it, man. If you've been there, you know. Is it like an old English kind of? Um... Nah, it's, it's not, man. I, I can't even explain it. If you've been there, you know. It's just a, there's an atmosphere. There's a smell. That, it, that for me, the air was kind of like dense. You know what I mean? Mm. It, it, there's like a dense feeling. It's just sort of. It might have been cold that night, but. The adrenaline started kicking in, so everything got close. So you don't feel anything. You don't feel nothing, man. You just sort of maybe the first times, a few times you like you're there and you're like, okay, yeah, we we we're, we're waiting. We're what's waiting. it like when you put the first spray to the? Ch- I want to know what's it like. It's a buzz, man. It's, it's a proper buzz. You're doing it, and it's yeah, it, it, it's slow. Kind of, yeah, it, everything kind of stops. You know, you, all of a sudden this hyper vigilant thing comes about you. You know, you, you know, thing is though, when you sort of grown into it, you know people can't see you. Mm. Wherever you are, mm. wherever that person's like that, that way, mm. that way, yeah, they can't see you. And they're not going to catch you from like eight carriages down. No, because so, too distant. Yeah, too distant. You can walk out of there and they ain't going to catch you. So, you know, being there and then throwing up that first tag on a train, it was a buzz. It was a proper, proper buzz. You know, I could even tell you, I had a green smooth right and it come out pencil thin pencil thin it was just like yeah done a couple of tags and I was yeah. like I wanted to bounce from there and I was just like yeah time to go and it, yeah 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 yeah. I've, I've left scent uh, I want to go now yeah that's it yeah I've marked my territory now I've done this go. now alright come on I want to go I want to <laughs> yeah, yeah. go and it was just like what are you talking about man we're here for we're here now yeah, this is there. it this is it we, we, we're going to do our thing uh, technically you're already in the shit yeah so you might as well yeah go full out sit in the pot yeah and, that, and that's exactly what we've done yeah. We bombed the hell out of it till I don't know what paint run, paint run out. Then we left. You know what I mean? And it was like got out of there. It was like wicked. Yeah, I like this. Mm. I like this. Yeah, we want some more of this. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and again, this is a legal activity. We don't get involved in no. this on this podcast. But do not do that, children. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. But um, what a a, a, a mental a, what a grip. Yeah, it was hooked. It hooked by then, hundred percent hooked. You know, you, you can't, once you've done that, you know, you, you can't sort of look back and think, yeah, I've done it now, that's me, I've achieved something. Because it, it didn't even, that didn't come into it. It was about, yeah, you started getting your name. You've, you've, you're you've starting to climb the ladder, shall we say. Mm. You know, yeah, you 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 was here, you was toy, you, yeah, you was toy for a few years. But now you started climbing that ladder and like you hit steel now. Yeah, what's the next step? Mm. You put your name on a bit of steel, what's the next step? How do you keep going up and I think from there it was like I want to hit more still but now I want to put my name on that not just a tag I want to put my name and we're getting bigger now and that's how it slowly moved forward mm. well I'll say slowly mm. <laughs> to be quite honest it moved forward pretty sharpish hypervigilant you said hypervigilant I think or I said it but um People don't necessarily see you unless they want to see you. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. That's a so that's a social statement, by the way. You can be totally out of the way, but yet be in people's faces. Isn't yeah. that strange? Yeah, oh, it's a beautiful thing. That's a graph thing, isn't it? As well, yeah. you're being seen without being seen. Yeah, you know, and, and that's a beautiful thing. When you sort of look back on it, you think, you know, I've done this, and you know, my name travelled around from one end of the central line or whatever line you've done. Mm to the other end and back mm. and thousands of people have seen that yeah 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 you know what I mean and like it's the course of a day it's a lot isn't yeah it? and people are looking at it and you don't know what they're thinking like bloody vandals or whatever but mm. for us it was just like yeah my name's up there it's gone about mm. you know and 
again, we, we didn't think about it. We just, if we got photos, because, you know, back then, there were no camera phones, you know, mm. just about, you're lucky if you had a camera. So, you know, certain things got documented, certain things didn't, you know, but... But did that matter in the grand scheme of things? Probably not, because if you've got your work rate up... I think at the beginning, it didn't matter. Right. But after, you know, a couple of times, and, you know, say, painting with error and that, it was like, yeah, I want to... I want to. Oh yeah, I want to document this, man. It's like, oh yeah, I done a train last night. Yeah, well, where is it? Mm, uh, yeah, okay. You know what I mean. So now, we. Oh, I was gonna say we started to like hook up with people who actually had a camera. <laughs> you know what I mean. So certain people would come in yard with us who had a camera. Had the Kodak connection. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. There, there, was, there was someone. There Chemist. Was, yeah, there was someone. Well, we wrecked a camera from somewhere. We we ended up with what we had. So yeah, things started. I say you wasn't thinking about documenting stuff as mm. such, not to sort of a degree where we're at now. Mm. It was just about, yeah, I've got a picture of my piece. Mm. You know, people can say over the years, you know, doing track size, track size with track size. But then when someone sends me a picture of something that I don't even remember doing mm. of a track size, you're like, mm. wow, okay, someone's actually documented that mm. back then. Someone's had the thought to go, right, yeah, mm. I want a picture of that. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah, when I get that, it was like, Shit, did I do that? Mm. Damn, you know what I mean? But that's do what it was. Do you surprise yourself sometimes when someone pulls out like an old school, like, yeah, that, yeah, you know, like, when did I do that? How did that happen? Yeah, you know, you, you start thinking back and I was like, who was I with? Oh, damn, oh, damn, yeah, they were there. Mm. Shit, yeah, you know what I mean? It, it, it was real, man. It was real. So it's nice, mm -hmm. you know, like a certain night we done and I only ever saw one picture of a train that I'd done for over 25 years and I think a couple of years ago. Someone sent me a picture of this same train. I've never seen it. Never seen any other picture of this train. Oh my god! Uh, Twenty five years later, and I'm like, yeah, that was dope. That was dope to see to see it. Mm. it just got a completely different angle. It was running. The rest of the train was battered. Uh, yeah, that was that was so nice to see. Man. I have so much respect for people that that hold that. It's almost like a, a little light of. It's a little gem, isn't it? A little gem. Yeah. There you go. I feel, by the way, yeah, I've had this for 25 years, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have this. Yeah. As if you've always had it and you've not had it neither. Yeah. Yeah. What was Era like as a uh, what was Era like as a as a person? I mean, what cuz you know, you you you're a lovely guy and I'm just I'm trying to work out that cuz there's got to be some sort of electricity that went down to What was he like as a person? He, he was a good guy, man. Yeah. And anyone that's met that man there, they mm. they would say he was like 100% graf. Mm. He was 100% graf. No two ways about it. He he wanted to be up mm. everywhere he went. Mm. And I'll say everyone would say the same. I think anyone could tell me any different, but he was graph mm -hmm. through and through. Mm. You know, again, I can tell you the time we was in Acton, we we done our thing in there, so pieced it up. And he'd gone walk about, come back to him and said, yeah, there's someone in the train around there. But he still wanted to get a reach. Even though there was someone in there? Yeah, he went around there, got a reach. Next thing you know, the horn's going. You know what I mean? But he, he was 100% graph. Anyone who met him after I started painting with him in London will tell you the same. He was a hundred percent man. Being northern, and again, this is maybe a slight generalisation, but there is this. Um, I, I think it's because they're not in the network of London and growing up and being privy to it. Because I'm certainly being from outside of London, I, I just attacked things a little differently because I I wanted to validate myself in the situation and also the purist in me because I wasn't and I had to I had to earn mm. the, the the right to be I just attacked it differently do you think there's a, a level of that he just attacked it full stop right it's as simple as that right, right? he he was like uh, bam 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 he didn't care yeah he was great yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and I, also I found out a lot of things after you know about him from where he was from mm -hmm. you know what I mean and it was like this guy's a machine, man. Machine. He's a machine, you know what I mean? He, I said, he. it was like, I met him and I went from toy status, it was like, bang, next level straight away. Really? Straight away, yeah, within months. Not even not even a lot of months, two months. Some people are just like conduits for like, just assertive, like proactive, yeah. go get it behaviour, innit? Yeah, he was, he was on it, you know what I mean? He, you know, we can all sit here and say, yeah, certain man were on it. Mm. He was on it, on it, on it. Really? You know what I mean? He... He, he, I can't even explain how it was like. I say when I just got swept up, it was like, yeah, you're coming with me. Didn't even have to say that. It was just like, this is what we're doing, boss. We're there, and this is what we done. We went racking one day, one Sunday, and then next thing I know, from going racking, we actually met a couple of people racking. 
Next year I know I'm in Golders. Some, really? Sunday afternoon, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, bam, straight away we was there. You know, it, it was how crazy, that's how crazy it was. It's just like, yeah, I met these guys and said, the they, they mentioned Golders and it weren't far away. Yeah. We was there, Nick, that's when, bam, we was there. In there, everyone remembers that fence down the bottom of Golders. I just remember Eros swinging about on the top of that, you know what I mean? Bang, we was in there. We've done our thing, Sunday afternoon. West London, tell me about West London back back in the day. Let's get into the, you know. What part of West? I think, I mean, we've covered some bases, like, we, you know, big up Scam and a podcast, big up all, all the heads that have been down. But I think from, from, from your era and of the time, there'll be different kind of paths trod, different kind of areas that maybe we haven't cut. I mean, again, you were so proficient on the central line and it, and the way that well, you describe it, even even prior to this being switched on, you know, insides, outsides, track sides, yeah. you know, even those, uh, conversating with you, people don't, people don't talk about those things so def- definitively. So... Let's get into the West London side of things that was predominantly your patches. Well, you know what? I can only really talk about where I was from and I was kind yeah. of like, we're going to talk about the West End of the Central Line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sort of on the West, West End of the Central Line. So that was just me. I, for some reason, the Piccadilly Line was actually closer to where really? I lived. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. The Piccadilly Line, but I don't know, the, the Central Line had, had something about it. It was more gritty. Yeah. So... Yeah, we, we kind of, that was the chosen line as such. Mm. And yeah, I said, I was with a few boys from my end and we done our thing. We, you know, bits of bombing, bits of few outsides. Mm. But then I said, I'm at error. And then that, I, that transformed from that moving on to going wherever. Mm. But I kind of, it was like a homing pigeon, you know what I mean? Mm. I always went back mm. and done the central, the West End of Central. Mm-hmm. But so I, I didn't really know just starting out I didn't really know certain heads I, I'd seen names mm. you know what I mean yeah Big Up Mean mm. you know the SBS crew mm. I, I remember I that. I, and I think I'm a, if Mean actually remembers I met him in about 89 but again Toy and I was up here mm. I'm sorry the other way around <laughs> I was here Mean was up here he was already a name mm-hmm. and I was still here so I wasn't I was nothing then wow you know so mm. It was weird, like, you know, years later when I'm I'm seeing this guy and it's like, yeah, me and he, you know, I had a conversation with him quite recently and, it, it, you know, we've got, like, an appreciation, mm. you know, we appreciate each other, you mm. know, n- n- like a mad respect for mm. each other, Mm-mm. which, you know, is wicked. But I said, I used to, like, look up to these guys and I still do yeah, in yeah, a yeah. mad kind of way because it's just, like, they were names before I even sort of started out. Mm. And, you know, that, so, yeah, to me, there was West London. Mm. You know, I'd say I didn't know about certain other people. There's people out there that have done a lot of stuff before I even knew. Yeah, so I'm looking at the names thinking, oh, yeah, these, these names are out there. Yeah. But I never knew what they had done behind the scenes. Mm. So, so yeah. you weren't, it wasn't like you were in the mix of the West London scene or no. North West London scene like that? No, it wasn't. No. But, wasn't. You, but it does seem to me that you, yeah, it was it was a bit of a calling in in that you kind of, you were, you folded into the system, you, because, like you say, it was already in and around you. Yeah, it was almost like inevitable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what? It was like we we done our bit and we got up a lot in a very short space of time, mm-hmm. and through that we you know we started meeting people. Like there was a time, early ninety, very early ninety, we went racking at South Eden, and I remember we walked in there and there was like loads of like. I won't say they were youngest to us. We were probably all about the same age. But we've always, me and Errol was always like two big guys. Mm-hmm. And we walked in there and it was like, there was these guys just running around. And mm-hmm. I found out later on that they thought we was like BTP or something, or police. Because we was always big. Yeah. But what happened is that we kind of went in there and went to straight to the paint. And they were seeing us and then it's like, hey, you're right. And it was like, yeah, you know, he's Errol mm-hmm. and Bap. And it's like, oh yeah, save, save. But I, I spoke to... Uh, Tuba. Mm-hmm. You know, Tuba. Yes. Yeah, KTC. Yeah, man. come on. And like, he was like, yeah, we thought you was like 5 0, man. That's it was hilarious. madness. He thought you was 5 0. But yeah, from that, again, again, that was one of them days. So I'm saying you, you, you meet people, you get swept up. 
Mm. And that's exactly what happened. We got swept up. I think Diet was there, Psych. There was there was a, quite a few heads there. Wow. And next thing I know, we linked them. Next thing I know, we're traveling around wherever we went. It's like a portal you suddenly just like. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it was, it was it was weird, but it was great. Mm. Yeah, it was absolutely great. You know, you just end up doing stuff that a couple of months ago, I would never have thought about doing. Yeah. Or be in places or doing Give me some things. more examples of how, uh, you know, those out of body moments of where you were with people. I mean, you're talking, but you're dropping some heavy names right now. Like, give me some wildest dream moments that you talk about here. Wildest dream? Oh, you know, God. like where you're just like, <laughs> fuck, like, what the f- What am I doing here? How the fuck did I get there? What am I doing here with you? That kind of thing. Give me something like that. that you're just like, this is. You know bonkers. what? I'll tell you what, it was mad, right? I'll tell you one person who. I, always had a lot of respect for mm. and I've still got a lot of respect for his diet, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. I kid you not, it was like, there was times we'd be on a train, we'll go somewhere, you know, you, as, a, as a writer, you're always looking at. Mm. I remember going down to Richmond or something one day and like, <laughs> we was we went down, we come back and it was like, that diet that weren't there that, like when we went down, you know what I mean? Mm. It was mad. <laughs> it, it, I, I, you know what, I can't even really explain them kind of moments mm. because they 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 will probably come to me as we're talking, so yeah, I might yeah. just throw one in like about that's what twenty minutes yeah, that's time in that. Show, yeah. But yeah, it was just meeting people, and then before you know it, you're in a yard or you're doing this, you're doing that. You're on the other side of London. It's like, oh, I set out to be here, now I'm over here. Mm. You know, so everything just happened without any planning. Mm. It's very rare that you plan stuff, mm. and when you do, as writers know, writers are so unreliable. Mm. Yeah, right as a proper unreliable, like, you know, I think maddest time in Ryslip, there was, again, early days arranged to go with some writers from West. Well, late 80s, we're talking about? No, nah, this is probably early 90s, early 90s again. Yeah, yeah. You know, we arranged to go Ryslip from some guys from West. Yeah, yeah, we meet so-and-so spot. None of them turned up. Not none of them. Which was just like, all right, yeah. don't really care. It's me and Error, isn't it? Yeah, so we're there. Yeah. So we, me and Error bops up to the yard, through the hole in the fence, which by this time has got a lot bigger, up the banking. And then we sort of got there and it was like, we looked, just looked like looking into the yard and it was like, there was like 20, 30 people in there. It was madness. It was like... All you, writers. Yeah, you can imagine, right? Everything was just me and him. Everything we'd done, it was just me mm-hmm. and error, me mm-hmm. and error. And then all of a sudden, we've gone to a yard to meet people that we knew who weren't even there. To find a yard, there's like 20, 30 people in there. Fucking, that's mad. You know what I mean? And it was like, okay, this is this is something else. And I used to get really anxious before I went yard anyway. It didn't matter where we went. Bro, I've seen I've seen raves. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you're you're a little short of like that's that's a that's a uh, a, a protest group. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people. Yeah, it, it, was like, it was like mad rebellion, man. It was like hold up. We were thinking about, yeah, you know, five people, six people or so. Yeah. And we've gone there. And we're looking into the yard for about five minutes, watching all this madness go on, because it, it, it was, it was like everyone was just running around, hitting everything. It's a war zone. It, it was. The two the two trains on the outside were cane. They were proper murdered up. And, they are, you know, I could see people up that end, up that end, yeah. people climbing through the train. And it was, we sat there and we was like, you know, fuck it, let's go in, man. Let's go in. So we decided, we, we come down the bank and started walking in. And few heads see us now, so it was like, okay. Again, we're both big guys. Mm. And we're walking into the yard, and kind of everything for them who's in there is kind of stopped. Now, we've got guys turning around, walking towards us. they got bats, they got chains, they got all kind of... Not all of them, don't get me wrong. There were certain heads. And we got there, we got a bit closer, like, and we was like, okay, this, this might not go too well, like, you know what I mean? They don't know us, we don't know them. And then all of a sudden, what, the voice came out and said, are you back? I was like, yeah. And it was like, in a way, it was like, yeah, come on in, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on yeah, in, yeah, yeah, join yeah, yeah. the party. And, 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 that, and that's literally <laughs> it was. That's literally what it was. Yeah, big up Ebbs, yeah. Mm. And that's literally what it was, is that we just needed that one person to say something. Mm-hmm. And then that, yeah, we joined that. And again, madness. At this point, I just like to big up Leon as well and hold tight people with documents as well, because um, uh, the connect is real. Um, my boy Leon, fucking great, and mutual friend. Um, yes, be up, Leon. Yeah, all day. Uh, fuck. I mean, y- you talk so candidly about this as if it was like the other day, but you don't lose their memories. You man. don't lose. You them. don't lose their memories, man. It feels like yesterday. Just it's like thirty odd years ago mm. now, man. Thirty, thirty years, thirty-one years. Isn't the world 
in the mind of, of, of us. It's a weird one, isn't it? Like, as you grow older, but, these the timelines, and it just goes back to something that you were saying at the beginning. Is it's like you know, kings, legends, da 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 da. But the timeline should be, and that's what I try and promote on the podcast. It's like it doesn't matter the the age range and everything. It doesn't matter because the stories, they 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 hold weight in any yeah. era at any time. Yeah. Because it's so no, important, isn't it? Definitely. Like, you, you, it's hard to explain. You know, they say people say talk about kings, this, that, and the other. But as I said, I, I, for me, you know, kings, legends, whatever, I I was part of something. Mm. And I'm grateful that I was part of that. There's not one part of me that says, yeah, you know what, I hate that. Mm. There's not one part, you know, I'm glad that I was there. I met people along the way, mm. you know, good friends. And, you know, listen, people show you respect, yeah? Mm. And, they do you indeed. know, and, you know, I'm kind of humbled by that because I said, all I think yeah. about is like, you know what, I've done a few trains, done a few track sides, you know, and, you know, I'm, I was part of that game. I was, I was not even, it's not even a puzzle. It's like I was part of that game. Mm. Yeah, which the game's just going to go on forever. You know what I mean? The mm. game's never going to stop. No, it's not. It's never going. It's never going to stop. Graph will never stop. They it can't, won't. No, it doesn't matter how you look at it. I can't you see know, it. I thought it was hot back in like ninety one, ninety two. Mm. Yeah, all these years later, same shit still getting done. Yeah. So it's definitely going to stop. These just people just got to evolve and carry on doing what they're doing. Mm. I'm not. Pro I'm not promoting illegal activity. No, no, by no, the no, way, no, 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 mm. no, no. But, <laughs> Not here. You know, but that's what it's about. Mm. You know, and it, it was the same for us, you know, and the same for the years, you know, before us and the years after. Mm. Where, you know, when Fenty started coming into it, you have to evolve. You either go over, round it, or through it. You know, so it's, everything's in evolve, involvement. Mm. In terms of um, the, 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 the artwork itself, because you've, you take your colourways, your schemes, you, you take everything to the wire back then particularly with the people that were around what was the most useful bit of information that you learned from 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 piecing like what's the most think there's something that you really took with you and it doesn't matter whether the paint gets worse or better doesn't matter what's the main key element in in graph that you could say for, has held true uh definitely cool that's a good one isn't it oh, that is that's a <laughs> big question but yeah. you know what for me you know, I can't speak for anyone else, but for me, it's always been about getting better. Mm -hmm. Always been about getting good, you know, doing what I do, mm. you know, because at the end of the day, it's self-promotion, isn't it? Mm. So if you're going to do something and stay static, you know, that's your choice. Mm. Yeah, but anything I do, you know, up now and in the future, mm. I, I try and elevate, I try. It doesn't mm. always happen. And most of the time it don't happen, let's get it right. But... You know, I've got to a level now where I'm quite comfortable in what I'm doing. Mm. You know, I don't, you know, I don't just go out and paint for the sake of painting. Mm. Uh, it, to me, half of that's a waste of time. You know, but that's me. Mm. Yeah, I try and make everything good. So you know, I'm putting every time I paint, I'm putting my name to it. Yeah, you know, bap, baps, bap style, whatever. It's upholding a, a level of integrity yeah. to to what you do when you yeah. do it. You know, so yeah, people might expect sometimes you rock up and you think, oh fuck, you know, he's gonna come up and drop something bad. It may not work that way, but I want to try and drop that to a certain level. I have to, I, you know, I can't look back in five years' time, ten years' time and think, yeah, I went out and I spent X amount of hours on that piece and it was poor. But your levels are determined on the basis of the last piece you've done when, to a lot of us, and I say a lot of us... <laughs> Your levels are just like <laughs> <laughs> fucking up there. It's just like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? You thought that was all right? Are you it was all right. <laughs> it was all right, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's but a again, because yeah, because I I look at what I'm doing, mm. you know, and I try and oh god, it's there's a level mm. in my head. There's a level, mm. yeah. And I, I know if I don't achieve it, you know, and then, then I look at it and think, shit, I've just wasted, you know, six seven hours doing a piece. Because I say, for me, it's a day out. You know what mm. I mean? It'll be the same when I'm in like a nursing home or something. Mm. If I can get out to go and paint, it's mm. a day out. Mm. It's a day out. And it, yeah, I, I must go into this actually because uh, I was with somebody, I forget their name. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. But we got into the analogy of fishing. And when you're in a Hall of Fame and you're piecing, it's like it's the act, it's the activity, it's the, the meditation of it all. It's the zen. And it's like going fishing sometimes. Mm. It's like just to be away from the bullshit. Yeah, it's an escape. It's a massive, you know, it's 
you know, everything that goes on in your life, you know, I mean, there's always, you need somewhere to escape. We're talking about Hall of Fame specifically here, but yeah. <laughs> you need you need somewhere to escape and you know, whether you're playing at the Hall of Fame, if we, if we, we'll talk about Hall of Fame, yeah, but if we're doing... <laughs> I was, I was gonna leave. I, I was know gonna... I know where you're going with that, man. I know where you're going Come with on. that. I know where you're going with that. But we'll get there. We'll yeah, get there. We'll get we'll, 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 give me a minute. I know you see me. I've got the bat. <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it. But it's just like you know, you, you need that escape. Mm. And I say, that's why I say, like, I, I don't care, man. People say, oh, what, that took you six, seven hours? I'm like, yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I don't care. How many cans do you take to, to all the fame to perfect this this thing? Well, hold up. All right. You, yeah. you, you're still pushing me there, aren't yeah, you? You're still pushing, pushing me there. Pushing right. It, yeah, Listen, yeah. I, I, will, I will travel with, like, 20, 30 cans of paint, man. 20, 30. Yeah, whether I've got a colour scheme already sorted, I will still travel that amount mm, of paint. Mm, mm. Reason being... I might get there and just think, you know what, no, I'm going to change what I'm doing. I may have the outline, but I'll change my colour scheme. Mm -hmm. Like board or whatever, you fill in mm -hmm. certain scheme. Because the worst thing for me is that you turn up somewhere and you're taking a certain amount of paint and you stand there and you're thinking, oh, yeah, that pink would have gone bad in there or that colour would have gone mm -hmm. bad in there. And you ain't got it. Hey. Yeah, so it's just like, yeah, I just travel with enough cans. Cans I'm never going to use. Mm. Bit brat breaking and that, but you know what I mean. You, I, that's how I work. Mm. You know, it doesn't work for everyone. Because you want the best. I want the best at the time. Mm. Yeah. Moving on to your, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got me there. He's got me there. <laughs> Mo moving on to your, your like halls of fame. Yeah. Right? How do you like, feel about that? Right. Personal opinion: there are no halls of fame. Halls of fame died a long time ago. In other countries, maybe, but here, London. I'm not. I don't know about up north or whatever. But for mm. me, there's are no halls of fame, none. It, it, you know, halls of fame basically turned into somewhere to paint, and that's as simple as that. You know, mm -hmm. you know, for me, rocking up to a hall of fame, you know, back then, you used to have to have something about you. You used to be able to go in there and drop a burner, mm. yeah, and that, that's all. Done. That's gone. When people say about Trellick Hall of Fame or this Hall of Fame, it, it's done. So, okay, so let's. Uh... We'll, we'll break this into. We'll compartmentalise this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into these these dynamics. The Hall of Fames are back in the day. Tell me, tell me how dangerous they were, and talk to me about uh, what what differentiates that level you know what? from now to then. I couldn't tell you how dangerous they were because I wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, but through stories, you you, you had to have some stature about you. Yeah, so you either used to be, to me, you used to sort of have to be sort of big in the game mm. and you can piece, mm. yeah? Or you were just one of them cats that had stature mm. and no one's going to kind of really fuck with you, really, you know mm. what I mean? That's how I see it. But again, over time, you know, that that changed. And, you know, like I said, Hall of Fame's just turning somewhere to paint. Anyone mm. can just rock up there, drop a piece and go over, like, proper good pieces with mm. really substandard work. Yeah, I feel that. You know what I mean? Nothing worse than someone takes out a piece and it's like, what, you've just done a dub? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You know, back in the day, I've, I've seen people get beat up for going over a corner of a piece. Yeah. Talk to me about that. So what, with just the, the side of a... Just a corner, didn't even just like the border of a piece, a little bit like that. You went over my piece, what? Yeah, corner of it. Because they don't know you. They don't know you and you've just... No, that, weren't, that. Good. that weren't me. Oh, no. no that no, that, that no, weren't me. No, no, you know no. What yes, I mean? no. Some of you operate on this podcast. You know, it, it was... You know, I've seen it happen. Yeah. People, even stains on drains. I've heard people saying, yeah, what, you went over my stains. What the... Because there's a risk element to it. You can't just be... I'm telling you, it happens, all the space bro. In it the happens. World. People went over stains. You know I mean? You had to do what you had to do, but I've seen people get, you know, violated for going over people's stains. Really? Yeah. So walls, so walls now, you know, I said people... Do you think that's still applicable now, though? Like, if, no. on, a, on, a, on a transportation level? Like on, not on trains, no. No. Because, you know, there ain't no stains on trains. No. You know what I mean? But it, even trackside, the same thing, you know. Legal walls, the same thing. People like, yeah, they tell you, oh, yeah, it's a legal spot. But funny thing is, right, mm. someone will go over a piece, a legal spot. Yeah, yeah, fuck it, I'm going over it. Just do it, bam, there you go. The same person would moan about someone going over their piece. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, hold up, you've gone over something fucking wicked, mm. and what someone's gone over you with a weak piece, probably weaker than yours, or even better than yours, and you want to have beef with them over that. Mm. You know, hold up, <laughs> what's kind of happening here? You know what I mean? So, yeah. 
Nah, there's people who are like... <sighs> graph goes in a certain way, man. Mm. It really, really does. No, it's, it's well observated. Observated? Well, good observation. I mean, like... And again, we're not alluding to anyone or anything or scenarios. You know, life, life happens and things are, you know... Things play out the way they do, and whenever you're listening and watching this, is it bears no relevance to to any circumstances. But um, it's very true what you say, and I think what you're uh, suggesting holds true in that come correct yeah. in graph because because over time you're setting a standard, and that standard, particularly in a hall of fame, although quote unquote legal, it still needs to be held. Yeah. To the highest level possible. Hall of Fame. It's called a Hall of Fame for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And it's about standards, as you said. Yeah. It's, it's about standards, having certain standards to go there. So yeah. when you, people are rocking up and just doing, you know, mm. tw a 20 minute two color, I'm not even going to say 20 minute two color fade, it's just a 20, two, 20 minute bosh, mm. bosh, you know, mm. and, and they're out. It, it, it drops the level. So all of a sudden, people are rocking up after that and thinking, well, you know what? I was going to come in here and smash out something in a half hour. Mm. You know what I mean? And then before you know it, there's a load of whack pieces in there because that's really what it is. You know what I mean? So you've gone from somewhere that there was those top quality pieces to like nothing. It's just a mess. Got to really think about it. Like if you were to, you know, if you were to do the world, if the world's end existed, which is a formidable, you know, piece of art history in, in the Trellick, for instance, to do something over that, you really got to think your production skills. You've yeah. really got to really... So if the bar is already high, yeah. what do you think... The best, because you were saying about 20, 30 cans, that's you. That's you on a, on a, on a, <laughs> a good day. day. yeah. Yeah. So, but what what standards do you think we need to set to make the best? I mean, we're talking predominantly, you know, the southeast region, because, you know, this is this is where we're at. Um, comment below, all my Sheffield crew, my Nottingham crew, my Bristol crew, my Brighton crew, da 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 da, -da come on, Manchester. But for, for setting standards... As a whole, what do you think? What do you think the best? What, what, how, what planning? What, what, what do you think needs to happen? Look, there, there are certain writers out there still now. Are you know they're coming with levels and they, their levels are consistently mm. on a good level. Mm. And but the thing is, it, it's gone so far now that it's what sort of comes behind them don't really care. Again, it's just about doing a wall, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where, as I say, I'll speak, I can speak for myself, you know, I'll rock up anywhere, I'll rock up, and I'm representing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm representing myself, mm -hmm. you know, whoever else is with me, you know what I mean? But it's, it's about me. Mm -hmm. 10, 15 years' time, you're going to say, yeah, there's a bat piece, yeah, that piece was whatever, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Whether it's good, bad, if you liked it, didn't like it, whatever, you know what I mean? But I'm representing me. Mm -hmm. So I, I try and keep my levels higher, mm -hmm. but it's other people coming along and saying, ah, fuck it, yeah, that wall's this, that, and that. They won't look at it and say yeah, that wall's bad. Mm. Yeah, that's come up and say, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going over it. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and that's where we're at. But this has taken time to get here. You know, I'm, I'm going to say we let it happen. You know, Graf let it happen. Mm. So that's why I say that there's no halls of fame. Mm. You know, I, I'll i give you an example, right? I was painting up in um, Uxbridge. Mm. Now, I really had a piece on the wall. I was doing another one with a couple of boys. A couple of guys turned up. Now, I got a piece a bit further along down the wall. Guy can't say, can I go over your piece? Yeah, exactly, bro. I gave him that look like... I just sort of looked at him and I thought, right, let me take it. I'll I'll, I'll keep it on a level and just mm. say, listen, bro, if your piece is going to be better than mine, by all means, go over mm -hmm. it. I left it at that. Really? Yeah, left it at that. If it's going to be better than my piece, go mm -hmm. over it. Mm -hmm. I'm not being greedy because I want two pieces on the wall, mm -hmm. but because I've come from that era of... You know, if you're gonna do something better, impress me. Go over, yeah. <laughs> go, go, ahead. Go, go, go over it. <laughs> yeah. But if you're gonna drop something whack on my piece, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed with that. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean. So it, it that's where it sets the bar, doesn't it? Yeah. Go on then, do it. Crack on. Yeah. Crack you on, better do, be do, fucking good. Do your thing. Come on, pull out his knife and get. <laughs> Let's go out and get <laughs> well, real. That, well, you know, no, I'll, I would have probably dogged it in the end. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it's, but that's what I'm saying. That's the mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. It's a legal wall. Yeah. Well, whatever it is it's just a wall but you know mm. what I mean but it, that's the mentality of people like yeah just rock up paint over anything mm. I've had someone rock up I've done a piece on a Sunday by the I think the Monday someone's rocked up and done a piece right in the middle of my mm. piece they didn't even take it all out just mm. done it right in the middle it happens this is where we are now it happens yeah so I won't complain about that all I sort of said I posted up and said this is 
what we've come to. This is what we've let Graf get to. Mm. You know, and someone commented on there, jumped on there, right? And this was what, last year or the year before mm-hmm. this was? Someone's jumped on there and commented, said, yeah, you should stop moaning about it. Go out and do, do some illegal stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm not one of them people who just get aggy about stuff. Mm-hmm. I'll just put it back in, yeah, you check your history, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what I put, check your history. Mm-hmm. Then tell me about, you know, I was doing, I said, I've done my legal shit, shit mm-hmm. all like 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? He come back and said, yeah, yeah, you're safe, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't causing no beef with no one. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, you know, do a little history lesson. But that's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. People get into graph now and think that graph just started. Mm. Grass been here for a while, mm. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grass been here for a while. Tarmac has been laid over the grass when Graff was started. You know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Um, and actually, playing devil's advocate because we like to do that here. Um, a lot of people in in the heat of this conversation that we're chatting about, and respectfully so, they'll turn around and say, "Why even? Why even focusing on all of Ames? You know, da, 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 get get out there and do something." Yeah, I've, I've, listen, I've done. I've yeah. done my bit, man. You know yeah, what I mean? I said to said earlier. Bro, I've, yeah. I've done my little bit. I've, I threw my little two little two pennies in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've done my training. I've done yeah, my yeah, tracks. Yeah. I've done my insides. Yeah. I've done my bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm too old now. I'm too lazy now. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even. I just about put pen to paper. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's for you guys to get out there and do stuff. But you know, figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Think back. You know, it, it, this hasn't just started. It's mm. been here for years. Mm. Yeah, there's people out there who have probably been writing before I started and they're still doing stuff now. Respect mm. to them. But it's the it's sort of like the new generation, generations. Mm. Just think Graf started just before they did or they started Graf. Mm. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's not about that, man. You mm. need to sort of just have a look. You don't have to look back far. You don't have to do loads of research. Mm. But have a little look at it and think, you know what? All right, these boys have been around for a while. I think there's some really good stuff going on in the Hall of Fames at the moment. I've got to say, like, big up to Stockwell um, and everything that's going on. Places, there, to, so I say, yeah. places to paint, right? Yeah, yeah. Really? You think so? Even that? I, I still think so, yeah. Really? I, 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 you know, so I'm not going to knock anyone, but mm. again, I just don't think they're just places to paint. I don't, I don't think they're Halls of Fame. But do you think that's, do you think that's the, the, the uh, like you say, you did say this, it's what we've come to, but... With the powers that be and people's general interest in graph getting bigger, um, there is a there is a popularity, and where else could people do it? I mean, we're not talking about graffiti writers here. We're not talking about we're talking about spray can art essentially. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem to be m- m- anywhere else. Yeah, you're limited. Yeah. You're quite limited now. Mm. Really, you know, the, the space is a sort of reduce over time mm. you know and obviously east is just like kind of like the main hub now really mm. isn't it so yeah again it's one of those things you know but i still think that you know there's no halls of fame no. there, there isn't you know and i'm not crying out for halls of fame you no, know what no, i mean no, i said no. i'll paint if someone invites me to paint somewhere i'll paint yeah, yeah you know if you want to call it a hall of fame listen that's up to you you mm. know what i mean I, I it's just another wall to me mm. you know and I'll go there, I'll do my thing, I'll go home, put my feet up. You know what I mean? Drink a cup of tea and I'm sweet. <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Uh, comment below. Uh, moving on, though, you have cut your chops and you have done your graft and you are that guy. Uh, let's talk about Hooch. <laughs> Shut, uh, shut, shut, uh, shut, 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 <laughs> shut. <laughs> right, you pulled that one out of the bag, man. Jeez. Um, boy. Because not a lot of people know this, do they? No, they, they don't. <laughs> they don't. I think, yeah, I think after the early days and after, you know, a few For months, those of you that are listening and not watching, you should see the face yeah. on this, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, yeah, you pulled that one out, man. Shit. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I started writing Hooch probably about 95, I think. And literally, yeah, it was just like one of them sort of mm. undercover ones, really. I didn't, mm. you know, just having that, it was that a drink called Hooch. And mm. basically, I just pulled it out. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I ain't writing BAP. I ain't writing this or anything else I was undercover with for a little while. Mm. And yeah, I just started writing that. You know what I mean? And it was just, it was just fun. It just, I don't know, it kept me in the game, really. Mm. I don't say in the game, but it's just, I was still out there. Mm. You know what I mean? Where I thought, yeah, I stopped in the early 90s. Sort of 96, 7, 8, wherever it was, where we got to, maybe 2000 actually, mm-hmm. yeah, probably longer than I thought. I'd done a few bits writing Hooch, yeah, you know what I mean? And I don't know, it just, it was there, it was just there, it was a the name, I put it up. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can you know, say about it, really. There was, 
situation before what we spoke about, but yeah, yeah. you know, I, you know, yeah, I kept myself in the game and ambush as well. Yeah, that, that's a different one. That that, yeah, I started writing ambush mm. uh, again ninety. 93, maybe? Oh, it's a little earlier than this. See, this is where I get... See, me and my mind, the timeline is just Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's you know about... Me? Crazy. Listen, your timeline, well, mine's a bit messed up and I was the one who wrote <laughs> it. That was what I was doing it. <laughs> it probably about 93, but that was, again, that was a, n- another moment, man. Another moment for a year, maybe. Mm. Maybe about a year just going out there and, you know, that, that bug's still in you, man. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, where I thought, yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead, done in the water, man. Mm. I'm just floating about. But, yeah, started writing Ambush for a piece and, yeah, just started smacking up Oxbridge, basically. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, they're fun times, fun <clears throat> times, you know. I don't know how, like, as you get older as an artist, how you, built of still are these graph writers, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how you walk it, jump it. I don't know how you stand there for ages painting it. You, uh, your muscles, like, <laughs> there must be some level of muscle memory because, like you say, the mind don't want to stop. You just, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you you get used to it, man. But saying that, I've done a piece a couple of months back. Mm. Now, nah, I've always said, yeah, I'll keep my feet on the ground, man, but I was on my own and I had an outline which I'd done just a... Done it at home and I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll throw that up. So yeah, ladder time. Yeah, six or seven hours up and down a ladder, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting old now. I'm getting old. I was cool when I was doing it. Yeah, this is great. Everything's coming out sweet, man. This piece is big. Till the evening. Thing. Yeah, got home, sat down, half hour later, bro. Cramp kicked in. Kicked in. You know what I mean? I was like, nah, you know what? I ain't doing that again. Really? I'm not doing that. Yeah, up a couple of steps and do my thing, but up, 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 up the ladder. Nah, I'm not doing that again, man. That just that's when they said to me, you know what? You're old now, bro. You're old. You know what I mean? You don't need to be doing that. If I get the impression, like, with them trackside things and, and again, the variables, what you, I mean, we're not actually talking about on the tracks necessarily. We're talking about where the, pub, the public can see. Mm. But you've still got to make... You guys are like homing pigeons, man. That's the impression <laughs> I get. Like, how do you even know where something... You've got to make some serious attempts. It's, Listen, I, I respect it. some of the stuff I see, yeah. yeah. And it was just like, well, man's got a ladder, he's hung off this to do that. Yeah. Respect to you. Because yeah. that's just not me. Yeah. That's not me. I'm, I'm not doing that. You know, I'll go to a legal wall, I'll go up a couple of runs of the ladder just so I can reach the top. But I'm quite a big guy anyway. Mm-hmm. But if I got a little bit higher, I'm You've cool really with got that. It covered. You but yeah, but I've seen, you know, I'll paint with a couple of people recently, and they were up this ladder, and they're putting off some serious shit up this, off this ladder, yeah. And I'm like, you're fucking good. Mm. That's the talent just to be out there, man. Because do... you're so close to the... That's what I'm saying. Really close to the yeah. wall. Yeah, and man's pulling off... He, 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 you know, just pulling off some serious shit up there. And I think, you know, I'll go up the ladder, do a couple of lines, I think, yeah, I'll come down mm. with the ladder. And my man's doing whole shit, leading way off the ladder, doing this. Yeah, it's yeah. It's mad, bro. But that's an age thing, man. And again, yeah, you I... hold the the, 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 the the crown for that. Oh, I'll say that, all right? Crown? The truth <laughs> is, truth <laughs> is, though, truth is, the, the thing that I think a lot of people, a lot of punters, the, the, the mops, member of public, how's that? For, <laughs> but good. yeah, seriously, they, they I think for a lot of people, it's like, how do you keep a sense of perspective? But on and off, or off of that. Because to a lot of people that when you see it pass on a, a side of a track and you're on a train, you're looking at it and you're just like, wow, I can see that clear as day. But how the fuck did that ever get to that size? How did you ever figure that out being so close or to the narrowest of margins? Man. You know, it's something that you just, you get used to, man. Mm. You know, you, you know, once you're in it and you know, I don't say what you, you know what you're doing, mm. but you, you just know, you get a feel. You know, you got a certain space, you feel that space, you know what I mean? Mm. So you, you, you know, up here you know mm. what's got to fit in there, you know, in a way, what balance is right, mm. you know. So that that's you know for everyone, it's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think that you, I don't know. You just get used to it. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's hard to explain. Sense of space, environment. I mean, that's what makes the, the regardless of the, the the actual activity and paint. That's what makes the best graffiti, right? It's just knowing your environment and being aware, being comfortable, man. Really, you know, know, knowing what you're good at, what your capabilities are. Yeah. Again, I, I can only speak for myself. You know, I, mean, I can't speak for other people, but you know, I know what my capabilities are. 
And, you know, I said, I've got a, I've got a large wingspan, man. So if I rock up to a wall... I'm taking that shit. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to fill that up. The amount of times I said, yeah, I'll go, I'm only going this high. And next, you know, outline's way up there, you know. Thank God you bought those 30 cans yeah, exactly, kind of thing, yeah. Exactly. So it's... It's ha- just knowing where you are, man. Knowing where you're doing, you know. Yeah. As I was saying, now sometimes it's good just to paint with just a handful of people, because the more people you got there, the less space you got. Yeah. He said, "I'll mm. paint." I'll, don't get me wrong. I'll paint with loads of different people. Yeah, and I, and I will, and I always will. But to have masses of people painting with you, it reduces your space. Mm. Now, you know, I like to generally try and have a little gap between each piece. But it doesn't always work like that. So there's only overlapping stuff and you might think, yeah, my bit of 3D was going to go in there and that bit of 3D kind of makes your piece on that side. Mm. So it's good to just have... The option of space. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, that one at Trellick the other week, man. Oh, yeah. Picture now. That's That was... It's still there. <laughs> it's held true. It's held true to what you, you've said as a commitment to... to Making the best possible because it's still there. I'm shocked in that. Yeah, I'm proper shocked in yeah, that because I, I, I didn't expect a, that to be there. That was a that, the Trellick jam that we're talking about was fan fucking It was yeah, like great the day. Kings were in effect like madheads and and contrary to what we were saying about quality and standards for sure, that was a jam to remember. And since then, I don't know. I just feel like there's a level up that's. That's gone in there, and uh, yeah, you're still up there, bro. Uh, right? Well, you know, that's a sign of respect, or whatever you want to call it, or no one wants to paint in that corner. I, I don't a, know. It's just a beautiful, pl- it's just a beautiful thing to see. Um, Mia, big up Mia, KTC Mia. Yeah. Another character that I think falls in line with your the generation of of graf- graf- graffiti uh, uh, style technique and uh, method. I'd love to see you guys do a piece together. Listen, I, you know what amount of times I said to me, yeah, we're going to link, we've got a link. And I just, as I say, it's probably on me or anything mm-hmm. that I just haven't done it yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, definitely. Colourways, clever use of colours. And you mentioned three, this before we, you know, we, we were just gassing before. The the three magic number as in terms of technique and, and paint-wise. Is um, that not, it's not exclusive? I understand that you, there's contrary to, put, yeah, yeah. you have your own, Secret ingredients, but there was certainly something that you said that I, I thought. I think. I think it. for me, you know, I, I've got to have a balance mm. in the pieces I do. You know, I think you know, you, so when you, them kind of feels what mm. we're talking about, mm. it's just like right, there's a bit there, a bit there, a bit over there. Mm. You know, maybe four, a little bit down there as well. But it's having that, and then making sure everything kind of blends in. So three being three, three maybe four. Mm. You know, sometimes you might get a bit overcrowded. Mm. Again, it depends what you're doing on top of that. Mm-hmm. You know, I. I don't know, I, I said, for me, I've got ways of painting, which some are lazy. And then, like the one we're talking about, mm. it was like, right, I know what I'm doing here. Mm. You know, it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes I get to have a beer and it's like, yeah, I knew what I was going to do. Mm. Yeah, that's all kind of skipped, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I drop it in, in a certain way mm. and then just add my little add-ons, you know, again, balance my schemes, try and balance my schemes mm. and then move forward from there. But with that piece there, it was like, yeah, I get invited to come and paint at these things now. I'm representing. Mm. Yeah, they said it as a West London jam, mm. representing old school West. I represented. Mm, you know, you I'm not going to come along and just come up and rock a half-hearted mm. thing, man. No, there's, there's, there was just no way of that. Mm. Now, I'm not saying my piece was the best there because I don't, I don't believe it is. Be quite honest, I don't really see many of the others. But, Your head was in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you come along, mm. yeah, I was in there, but I was mm. banging there. Mm. You know what I mean? And it was like, right, this is going to be a statement. I've got to make a statement because, you know, I'm putting my name to that, mm. literally, as we spoke earlier. Mm, yeah. You know, this is me. You know, so when I walk away from that, people say, oh, yeah, that back piece was fresh. Mm. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but I was happy when I walked away. Mm. You know? It's like when people kind of intervene and you see your head's in the piece because I guess some of it could be defined as a bit of a respite but if you're in the zone what's it like when there's other writers there or other people there that that may distract you know most of the time i i, I do zone out do you yeah there's been plenty of times in the past where you know i've got the headphones in they're not even there's no music nothing playing man they're just in <laughs> you oh know the what tricks I mean? yeah no, I mean, headphones are just in yeah you know and you just you just yeah, 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 away because yeah, 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 yeah. you don't want to get disturbed you might there was one guy like that trade jam yeah yeah 
he was like buzzing around me like shit, like fly around shit, bro. I don't know yeah. what he wanted, <laughs> but he was just coming up with some stupid shit, man. And I was like, <laughs> in my head, it's like, you know, I just want to turn around and say, look, mate, just bounce, bro. Yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. doing my head in there, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I've met him somewhere before, I don't know. Mm. You know, it's hard to remember everyone that you meet, mm. but he was going on like me and him are buddies, and we're like, we kind of grew up together and shit. I don't know this dude, but he was kind of like, at one point, he'd done something. I thought to myself, are you like five years old? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It's just like, in my head, it's like, just fuck off. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm doing my thing. I'm here to work, God damn it. Yeah, sorry yeah. about that, bro. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, he he was just annoying. Mm. You know, the rest of the people come up, tap, yeah, say, blah, 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 chat, mm. chat away. Mm. You know, then they go about their business, you know what I mean? And, and don't get me wrong, sometimes people, that, random people just come up, start chatting, and it'll be a good point where it's sort of taken me away. It's brought me off the piece, mm. where I, I kind of needed to do that. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, but yeah, there's some it's like people. A fag break, isn't it? Yeah, it just kind of resets your thinking. Yeah, a little take bit. a step away, have a little walk, step back, and look at your piece, and think, right, okay, this is where I got to be. Yeah. Like, you know, even though someone's talking to you, you're looking at your piece, like, yeah, I'm doing that next, I'm doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what'd you say? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, uh, it's the same with music and anything. Anyone that's got like a a real heavy, yeah. a high level of of mm-hmm. concentration on a thing, I I would say that was that was the case in a lot of instances, right? Yeah. So yeah, you just do your thing, man. You know what I mean? Just like I said, represent. And uh, you know, it's on you mm. what you're doing. You know, and I say people turn up and do their thing. Mm. You know, I'm gonna represent the best to the best of my ability every time, if, if possible. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Respect, man. My guy, thank you so much for it's coming on and up in here, bro. let's be part of the tapestry yeah, of so the evolution of uh, Baps, man. That, that's that's my bit, bro. Yeah, that's my bit. And you know, listen. Respect to you for what you're doing, bro. Well, thank you, brother. Respect I appreciate it. It's been great having you Massive. on. Lovely, lovely day. Ladies and gentlemen, Baps, TBS inside the place. You know how we do. Uh, big shout out to everyone closely associated to this gentleman um, and uh, creating the tapestry that we keep on forging away and cutting through on the Killer Killer podcast. You stay lucky, people, all right? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Uh, thank you very much, Baps. Respect. Stay lucky. Yeah, you Easy. Too, Peace. Peace.